Well, children, where there is so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think twinks the Negroes of the South and the women of the North, all this talking about rights, the white men will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this you're talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helps me into carriages or mud puddles or gives me my best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me, look at my arms. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns and no man could heed me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I can get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne 13 children and seen most all of them sold off to slavery. And when I cried out my mother's grief, none heard me but Jesus. And ain't I a woman? Then they talk about this thing in the head and what's it they call it? Intelligence? Intellect? That's it, honey. Intellect. Uh, well, that got to do with women's rights or Negro's rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? Then that little man in black there, he says, women can't have as many rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman? Man had nothing to do with him. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now, they is asking to do it. And the men better let them. Obliged you from hearing from me. And now Sojourner ain't got nothing more to say. Woo! Harriet, there was always somebody calling us crazy or mean or stuck up or evil or black or black, and we were nabby girls, quick as cuttlefish, scurrying for cover, trying to speak, trying to speak, trying to speak pain in each other's mouths until we learned on the edge of a lash or a tongue, on the edge of the other's betrayal, that respect meant keeping our distance in silence, averting our eyes from one another's faces in the street, from the beautiful dark mouth and cautious familiar eyes passing alone. I remember you, Harriet. Before we were broken parts, we dreamed the crosses, swords of warrior queens while we avoided each other's eyes. And we learned to know lonely as the earth learns to know dead. Harriet. I did not fall from the sky nor descend like a plague of locusts to drink color and strength from the earth. And I did not come like rain as a tribute or symbol for earth's becoming. I come as a woman, dark and open. Sometimes I fall like night, softly and terrible, only when I must die in order to rise again. I do not come like a secret warrior with an unshielded sword in my mouth hidden behind my tongue, slicing my throat to ribbons of service with a smile while the blood runs down and out through the holes 
and the two sacred mounds on my chest. I come like a woman who I am spreading throughout the night, laughter and promise. And dark heed warning that whatever I touch that is living, consuming only what is already dead. Thank you. <laughs> One more for you. All right. Moon mark and touched by Sunday, my magic is unwritten. But when the sea turns back, it will leave my shape behind. I seek no favor, untouched by blood, unrelenting as the course of love, permanent as my errors or my pride. I do not mix love with pity or hate with scorn. And if you know me, look into the entrails of your Uranus, where the restless oceans pound. I do not dwell within my birth nor my divinities, who am ageless and half grown and still seeking. My sister witches and Dahomini wear me inside their coiled clothes as, their mo as our mother did morning. I have been woman for a long time. Beware my smile. I am treacherous with old magic and the noon's new furies with all the wide future's promises. I am woman and not white. Thank you guys. Woo!